Hi, this is Dave Farina from Cosmo Safari. Earlier today, I had the opportunity to speak with someone who is a big inspiration for me. His name is Trevor Jones. He's from Astro Backyard. Trevor has a passion for astronomy that's very similar to mine. I wanted to find out what drove that passion. Come along on that journey with me. We've got more to learn. We saw each other here, met uh, about two years ago now. And yes. um, one of the things that uh, I think a, a lot of people have questions about is um, how you got started. Uh, a lot of these videos are showing more advanced stuff. Uh, we could go back in your YouTube and we could kind of see the beginnings of that. But my question is, is how did it the astronomy itself get into your blood? So like the initial moment, and I think about this a lot, where I went from not being interested in astronomy at all to, you know, dedicating my life to it in a way. Um, I, I don't know what it was, but I think it was the online seeing images from amateurs of astronomical objects, specifically nebulae in, in, in galaxies. And, and seeing that it was taken from someone's backyard using amateur equipment, equipment that I knew was accessible to me and, and I could actually visualize doing it myself. And I just thought that's, that's really cool. So I started taking baby steps towards that goal. And I, I had a great expectation where I didn't want it to happen right away. I just, I wanted to explore it and I was very curious. And I was like, if I can get anywhere close to some of the stuff that's really been inspiring to me I'll be happy and then of course it just it just snowballed from there um, uh, this second question is a little bit more personal and I, I feel comfortable asking you because it's something that you shared with everyone um, I know your dad had a connection with this place uh, and you made that connection with me and I'm, I'm actually getting a little emotional here asking you this so how how would you see your dad's perspective on this uh, success that you're continuing to have and kind of follow up with that with you're now taking this as your full-time job so how do you think he'd be yeah feeling it, about that it, it's one of many uh, huge motivators for me because he was just uh, it's actually this is he I remember he told me once uh, <clears throat> and I didn't know what he meant. He's like, I, I know one day you're, you're going to do something like really special. I, I don't know what it is yet. And he was kind of like that. He would say like, oh, I, you know, I can, I feel like this is happening. He, he thought he had ESP. And uh, I remember him saying, he's like, I feel like you're going to do something really special one day. And then as I started getting into this and, and people started watching and, and YouTube and I was like, what is happening here? And it wasn't until after he passed that I was like, maybe this is what he was talking about. And he was so proud. He watched every video. Um, and then the, the fact that I chose a hobby where you end up appreciating nature and being outside and looking at the night sky, it's the ultimate way to reflect on your life and to think of somebody and to think of a memory and a loved one. So it really, like the whole thing, the way it went down was so crazy. Like him in the hospital, me sharing that personal side of my life with so many people. And then I had to share that, like really expose um, my life and share that he passed away with, with strangers essentially. And the only reason I did that was because I shared that he was in the hospital and people were asking me how he's doing, right? And I need, I'm like, these people need an explanation. And I don't want to keep hearing like, oh, is he doing better? I wanted to let them know. So sharing that with my audience what was a bizarre experience, but it was also kind of comforting to hear um, what people had to say. The whole hobby now a big reason why I feel in my heart that it's the right thing to do is because I know uh, he would want me to do it so it, it, yeah one of those things where uh, it's had a huge impact and it's I'm trying to put a positive spin on something that was like you know kind of traumatic but wow that's a question right there wow <laughs> well we I asked because I think more than you know it although this is an online community we do care, or we care about you, and that's because we care about you because you've shown your your passion for something that we share in. And so uh, thank you for sharing that with us because I, I really do feel like 
this is a journey that matters to you and I, I appreciate that you shared that journey with us thank you so much finally um you just mentioned today that this is now your full-time job and i was wondering how do you see that changing how you are able to do astro backyard um so the the, the cha- this has been a learning experience this year for sure i've never run a business before i've never worked for myself i've always worked a, you know a desk job for the last 15 years um so it's been a learning experience kind of figuring things out uh, my guiding light my north star um is that the, these connections and and being real and being honest and transparent with my audience if i keep having making these connections i know that i'm doing something right so the, the type of thing that you have to figure out along the way is so if you're making money doing something there's always going to be ways that you can make more money by doing something that you either you are comfortable doing or you're not and it's it's actually become an easy decision to say okay no is this does this follow my path that you know I'm I'm okay with or doesn't it so there's you know you're, you're a lot of turning a lot of offers down people when you're on the internet and a lot of people are seeing you and you have a lot of eyeballs on you, people are coming out of the woodwork asking you to do all sorts of things, always offering something. And but if it doesn't fit with with my plan, then it's then it's an easy no because the whole thing doesn't work if I'm going to start acting or doing something that's that's not part of my plan. And uh, yeah, the, the 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 secret sauce to the whole thing and why I think it's working is being honest and transparent and enjoying the hobby, sharing the true emotions that come out of it, and uh, real experiences even when things don't work out. That's what's refreshing to people, you know. That that's what's that's what I can offer, right? Well, I can tell you, thank you, because you're my inspiration to keep going out and viewing the night sky, uh, and you're also my inspiration for this channel. And I just want to say this is my thank you to you. Wow. Uh, and I appreciate the interview. Thank you so much, thank man. You, Trevor. Wow. Thanks, Dave. Holy smokes. I mean it. I mean it. This is this is the reason why I. He ran across the field to give this. you water. <laughs> <laughs>